Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is um, Cherie from Big Notes Get Votes. I'm here with the amazing Sally Thayerty. You can find her on Insta, YouTube, and Facebook under the handle Noise by Sally. Uh, Sally is a very talented singer, a very amazing songwriter, and a street performing and busking guru, which is why we've got her on today. So this this month I'm kind of talking about how to create your own performance opportunities. So if you haven't met me, I'm a vocal coach and I'm a singer as well. The best thing that worked for me, um, getting gig fit was just to gig more. And so the goal is to kind of create your own performance opportunities, right? So one of the ways that you can do this yourself is through busking or street performing, which I have never done. However, Sally has done so much and she sent me through all these tips. I was like, hey girl, I'm going to do this live on creating your own, you know, performance opportunities. Is there anything that you can throw in about busking? She didn't just throw me a couple of bones. She wrote me a massive email with tons of tips. And I said to her, please come on and let's uh, get you onto the weekly live and see if you can maybe inspire some artists to go busk. So when Sally sent me through these tips, I just said to her, look, can I just get you to talk about the best ways to prepare for busking, what you need to do, what kind of equipment you might have, some tips for what you can do to really make the experience uh, safe and positive and, and enjoyable for everyone in concern, and then just your favorite tips and stories that you could maybe share with us. So that's where I'm going to throw to the amazing Sally, who's been so patient and so kind to me. But tell me, how, what is the best way to prepare for busking? I think the best way to prepare is to um, definitely make sure you've got, like I think, make sure you've got amplified sound. I think that's really important, depending on where you're going. But if you want to go somewhere, like I mean, I only ever did Queen Street, so it was so busy, so loud. And if you don't have, like I remember when I first started, I tried just with my guitar. And no microphone. Um, and it's just impossible. Like people walk past and say, I can't hear you. Or like I, I got a lot of people saying, I can't hear you. Speak up, sing louder or shut up even. So <laughs> I think you want to make sure you've got the right equipment. And yeah, it's, it's kind of got to be loud enough for people to hear. Uh, secondly, I don't even think you need to practice that much. Like, I think you need to be practiced enough to be comfortable, but it's still going to be nerve wracking. And I reckon the more you can get out there and just jump in and do it, the better it's going to be. So much. Like, and because you kind of you you learn so much about your voice and your own performance skills and your own interactions with people by just doing it right so exactly yeah you you just have to do it i would say get your equipment you got you should have at least kind of like a 20 minute set prepared which i think is kind of important but once you've got that i mean it's fine oh, a longer you, better. were you using um predominantly covers did you throw because sally has amazing originals that you do need to check out if you haven't um, all her handles are Noise by Sally, by the way, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Um, did you play some of your originals as well? Yeah, so I would sneak in, like I would do two covers and then sneak in an original, kind of just wherever you can. Um, but definitely don't drown them with originals because you kind of, you've got a few seconds to grab their attention enough to the point where they're going to stop and listen for a little bit or say something nice or throw you a dollar or whatever, sometimes quite often more. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, it's it's nicer to have uh, familiarity, I guess. Yeah, I sure. I mean, but it, it does give you a chance to play out your originals as well and kind of get that, um, I call it the feedback loop, you know, where you're able to see the kind of response, even if it's in the oh, five, 10 seconds yeah. it's walking past you. Yeah, and I think it's really valuable for that. 
what about the times of day? Like what is the best days, what are the best days of the week? What is the best time of day to go busking? Don't go on a Monday because everybody that works in the city, nobody's happy on a Monday. I would go, you know, like I always went kind of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is the best, like Saturday and Sunday nights. Uh, no, sorry, Friday and Saturday nights are the best because drunk people are generally generous, but sometimes they can be dangerous as well. So I would probably say if you're going to go at night time, take somebody that's strong and, and be safe because it's a little bit dangerous. I mean, even in the weekdays, it, it can be dangerous. In the middle of a day on a Saturday or Sunday, it still can be. You know, people are a little bit, especially in the middle of town, some people can be on drugs or or just angry or whatever. So you have to be careful, definitely be safe. But um, And where, like if you're bringing them up, where do you usually get them, where do you position them? Uh, position, sorry, what? Your, your safety, person. that's right, your safety person. Oh, where, well, I would have, I would have uh, my sister just sitting on a seat nearby or something. Like I remember one time I took my friend Alison and she ran up out of nowhere and just stood in front of me like a, a big stop sign or something. Um, and I didn't know why at the time, but she said that she saw these two girls walking up uh, to me and said, I'm going to steal that girl's microphone, you know? And so it was so lucky I just had her there because people, there's, your equipment is expensive, but you need it for obviously what you do. So there are people that might try and luckily nobody ever actually got it but I did have that that one instance of the girl trying to well you know grab it and things like that or maybe my friend just heard the wrong thing as well who knows because when she went past they didn't really do anything so um well that's because she was standing there like that like yeah well exactly she's a very small girl as well so I don't think she was really threatening you know <laughs> but you know, I think it's just that, that thing of having, you know, that safety. Even at light, like gigs in bars, I've had um, people not pick me up, but pick up my uh, fellow musicians and like spin around. I've had a mic pushed into my face and chipped my tail. Like, it's, oh you know, God. you're in the trenches sometimes. And yeah. And just because you're there and you're, you know, you're putting yourself on show in a, in a way, but it's not an invitation for people to mess with you. But some people see it that way. So it's important to be safe and take somebody with you or just don't take shit, you know? Yeah, well, and I think this is a good time to mention, like, every Halloween, which is coming up, I always put a post up on my blog about my gig horror stories. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there something along the lines. I've only got one to add this year because <laughs> I'm, I'm not digging as much. Yeah, and it's actually more about me being a douche. But um, yeah, I think there. You know, we we forget sometimes how we're putting ourselves out there. Not only emotionally when we're singing our songs, but also yeah, yeah. physically. And so you exactly. do. You need to be yeah. safe. And yeah. so what are some things that you can do? whilst you are uh, performing, like interacting with the punters that are walking past, what are some great tips for? Yeah, I mean, I found even is when I wore sunglasses, I was much less likely to have people listen and stop, which is super weird because I think eye contact is so important. So a huge thing for me was eye contact and smiling. Um, and I was always so big into it. Um, actually, that reminds me of another funny story where I had my sister just sitting down down the way, just at a seat. And I was singing and playing, and I thought it was so lovely. And this man gave me a super nice smile, and he's walking with his best friend or friend or whatever. And then I spoke with my sister afterwards, and she said, oh, yeah, that guy, as you were walking past, he goes, oh, my God, I fucking hate that girl <laughs> and I was like well but um so eye contact is super important so that people can say they hate you <laughs> no 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 um uh and then also just like thank you is is so nice and you get quite good at saying um 
thank you in the middle of a song like <gasps> wait till your verse is over or you've finished your chorus or whatever um but it's, it's really important to say thank you and if you can't at first just give a smile or thanks you know like a really quick as quick as you can um but i think it makes a big difference and people get really impressed when you can talk while you're singing as well yeah bit of a bonus that is a great tip and i think it's those like base um human relationship or connection interactions that are good to foster for for any performer you know being able to connect uh, and like one of the tips that i sometimes give um the artists that i work with is is to look at the back of the room like maybe at the exit sign or at people's foyer at the four keys, mm -hmm. so that if it feels awkward to kind of look them in the eye if you're just looking slightly above people's heads or you know at their foreheads it makes them feel like you're looking them in the eye and then you don't have that awkward kind of yeah like thing that sometimes happens exactly exactly yeah 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 and i think that's a good idea as well tell me has anyone tried to take the money from your case and like have you got any tips around what no, happens I, mean, I never had anybody specific i don't uh, not from memory like I, I don't think i've had anybody try and reach in and grab it but i i had um a bit of a bad run at the start where you know maybe i'd have one street street guy you know and maybe a, a homeless person or something um come up and say oh you've got money and they can have five dollars and the first time i was i was really like oh you know of course here you go and I just and, want to say, can I just say, Sally is that kind of person, full stop. <laughs> On stage, off stage, she's very generous and very kind. So I understand how you would have found yourself in, in that situation. But please continue. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I, I quickly learned that you need to say no because then the first time one comes, the next time two comes. And... They, they're seeing you as a, a running tap, you know? And Which so, is really hard for you because you are so giving and caring oh. that it's, <laughs> it's just establishing those boundaries. I mean, this again yeah. is a lesson for all performers, you know, knowing how much to literally give and to literally hold back for yourself, whether it's money or energy yeah. or that's a trip. It changed pretty quickly for me because oh. I was, I mean, at the start, I was doing it um, as well as my job. But then when I just strictly went to only doing that, I was like, nobody's getting anything, you know? Um, yeah, and so that kind of thing. And what I did as well just to kind of avoid those situations was I kind of every third or fourth song, when I can see it building up, it's, um, it's surprising a lot more people give bigger notes than you would expect and so when I see it building up I kind of just clear all the notes in the bra in the back pocket no no no, never in the back pocket always in the front pocket actually um oh life yeah. lessons by Sally come on never in the back pocket but yeah I mean that's kind of I guess that's all you can do to avoid it and then um because you're making kind of good money right like you, you have Potential yeah. It was. It is. It is good. I think it's better than a lot of people expect. Like I think, on average, it was about you know ninety upwards an hour. You can you can do one twenty, one fifty. I guess. That's Just, right. it, it depends on the day and the person. The, you know the people. I guess that are there and things like that. So years of doing it. You know, it was such a, a long time, but so it's the best thing I ever did. Well, and the before we do wrap it up i mean you know you you did you said to me like one of the things that sally said i was just reading here she just said basking is so freaking rewarding you learn so much about people and so much about yourself and it's one of the best things i've ever done and and i thought that it was such a great statement about you know the power of creating your own performance opportunity getting mm -hmm. yourself there it's going to make you better you learn about people you learn how to perform your voice gets better. Um, yeah. You build up your stamina. You're essentially getting gig fit. And it, you kind of do meet really 
really interesting people because that's how Sally and I met. <laughs> that I was walking down when I used to work at Mains as a vocal tutor. I would do this like walk yeah. up to university um, past that spot that you were busking at. And I was producing Christmas in the Park at that time. And I, I felt like such um, a little bit of, you know, a, an egg because I was like so captivated by your by your singing and your performance that I felt compelled to like go up and give you my card, which is just, it's just the strangest thing. Like I never do that. Um, oh, well, I'm glad you did. Yeah. And we, you know, as it turned out, because you were, um, you had other things going on and so you weren't able to, you know, be on the show, but we then ended up connecting through Big Pop. So I yeah. in one day and you were sitting on the reception and, Hi, I know you. I know well exactly, and it's so funny how it all turns out, isn't it? It's it's amazing, and so I've been lucky to work with Sally. I mean, this is like we're talking like five years coming up now since that that fateful meeting on Queen Street whilst you were basking. So whilst it was good for me, I'm not sure what Sally would necessarily share. About. <laughs> I've been annoying her for five years. No, now. no, 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 no. I would sing your praises every day. Oh, okay. and, and likewise to you. And so on that note, while we're given the mutual appreciation, any other final tips that you've got about busking or street performing that really jump out at you? I think you've you've kind yeah. of given everything that you told me, which is amazing. Oh, no, the one thing that I thought was actually the most fascinating thing was about interacting with other people who are wanting to perform. Oh yeah, you've got it. You've got it. You've got to make a friend. Um, you've got to be like courteous to the other street performers. It's it's very important um, because you know if you're playing and maybe they're waiting to play, it's good to kind of have a bit of a chat and say, oh, maybe I'm going to be twenty more minutes, or be respectful because they can so easily just like. Um, turn it around and say, oh, sorry, I'm here all day. You, you know, you've got to kind of share. And there, there are people just the same as you that are just out there trying to practice and learn and, and play and make some money as well. So it's like... Who knew there was like this etiquette where, you know, that you... Yeah, yeah, it's like a gang. Like we used to go for lunch together and stuff, the other guys. Yeah, that was very cool. And that was one of the other things that I'm encouraging um, artists or and singers and musicians to perform, create their own performance opportunities because not only do you meet industry people necessarily, but you also meet your peers and then you end up with your creative squad, um, people that you might be collaborating with or just to be able to sit down and vent to because, you know, the music industry, the business is a, yeah. an interesting game. Yeah. You need that, it sometimes as well. We need that community. It's amazing. Which is great. So that is a testimony to getting out there and creating performance opportunities. And I know today's focus was busking and street performing. Mm -hmm. But like I said on the last week's um, uh, chat, which is now on the blog on bignotesgetboats.com, there are lots of different ways that you can do it. And you can, you know, do house concerts and you can also do live streams like this if you're particularly savvy and you don't mind all the tech issues. <laughs> yeah, well. Exactly. Have you done a live stream, Sally? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm too old school. <laughs> I need to get with the times a bit more. Um, no, maybe there needs to be like an online busking. You just put your bank account number like down there or something. <laughs> There is. There actually is stuff that you can do where you can, um, there are platforms or applications that you can utilize, uh, whether it's something kind of more formalized like Patreon, yeah. um, where you can, you know, people will pay for particular things. But yeah, you can actually get a live stream that oh, has yes. um, a way that you can pay to jump yeah. on to their concert room, which is so cool. And then there's like far um, sounds here in Auckland and all around the world. Uh, there's so many, so many things. But thank you for giving no, this. No, no, no. Thank you. It has been so nice talking. It's been really nice, actually, just.
since you emailed me and stuff and writing that email about you know this whole topic and and talking about it now it's been super nice because it's it is still one of the best things i've ever done so i could only recommend it sally thank you so much thank Thank you so much who jumped on live today this is so cool and we got there at the end yeah well we did we got it no 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 it was great and so nice to talk to you as always likewise hey thanks again and please follow sally at noise by sally across facebook instagram and youtube and um of course, get onto the Big Notes Get Votes Jam if that's .com or Facebook page or Instagram or the YouTube channel where the replay of this will be living in the next 24 hours along with on the blog. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.